What's up, guys? Garrett here with Rask Group, back with another video today. My Pelican Box. I apologize in advance. I don't really have, like, the filming equipment to do, like, an amazing video of this. So this is kind of the best option I found. Hopefully you guys find this adequate. So this is a Pelican 1650. It is not an air edition. It's nothing fancy. I do have a bunch of stickers on the outside. I do not intend to fly with this. Um, this is kind of like a local use kind of range case that I use for going out to train for myself, going out to classes, teaching classes, whatever, right? So really nothing too crazy. Bunch of stickers from a bunch of different companies. I have total six, or I'm sorry, seven, la seven latches. I have two on the side. Then I have one here, one here. Give me it, one here. All right, so as you can see, um, I, as soon as we open it, we have some stuff going on here. Up here, I have four Magpul size medium window DACA pouches. Um, I have some patches from Rask Group and the challenges that we did throughout the year, uh, towards the end of the year. Things kind of slowed down for us. We're hoping to reinvigorate people at the beginning of the year with uh, some fresh challenges. I installed some hook and loop Velcro up here, put the reverse stuff on the back side of the DACA pouches, and gives me some actually pretty decent little storage. So up here, I have kind of some admin stuff, some pens, some markers, a um, couple pencils, I think, I think a highlighter, shit ton of Sharpies. Got some tools and stuff over here, just range fixes, so zip ties, front sight tools. Uh, let's see, actually, open it up. Uh, real Avid tool, we have some boar snakes, we have some gun oil, some more zip ties, um, dummy rounds. Just random small odds and ends, Allen, Allen keys. Over here is all batteries. So double A's, triple A's, some 18650s, CR 123s, 18350s. Just not for myself, but normally in case someone runs into something and they need, you know, a battery, they didn't happen to bring any, just toss them one. At the end of the day, it's a small price to pay to keep everybody involved, right? So I'm gonna come around over to the side. to go through the rest of this box. Um, I have two ammo cans, one on each side towards the wheel then, to try to keep all the weight towards the base of the wheels. One is for rifle ammo. One for pistol ammo. Those pretty much stay in here. I just open up boxes and empty them into the cans when I need it. I should mention, I got this idea from Corey from Superior Defense, so you probably never see this video. Shout out to him for the awesome idea. It works better than what I expected it to. So thank you for that. Uh, after the ammo cans, let's see here. We'll get into kind of my medical portion. So here, whoa, whoa. Adventure medical kits, family first aid kit, one to four people. Uh, just a bunch of small odds and ends. So... Really nothing too crazy. Just a lot of little stuff for inconvenience, kind of injuries if someone gets slide bite or someone scuffs their knee go, going into cover, you know, whatever. This can usually remedy it pretty quick. Is it, can people, do people need to have a first aid kit with them for those small little things? Probably not, but you know, it's a convenience thing, helps people feel better, keeps them excited for the day. Not a big deal. After that, Frontline medical kit, trauma kit. Usually when I show up for the day, I'll take this, whether it's by this little strap right here or whatever, I'll just hang it here on the edge of the Pelican case. That way people know exactly where it is. They don't have to fight my other pouches to get it out. I just put it there for transport. And, uh, you know, it never hurts to have an extra med kit. I have usually one on my belt, one in the truck, one in the Pelican box. Wherever somebody is, somebody's usually not too far from one, so I highly recommend it. Keep an extra one in the Pelican box. Next, I have a couple Magpul 
DACA takeout pouches, these things are absolutely lifesavers. Just lacing up kind of that intermediate size gear that, uh, you know, is big enough to kind of create some inconveniences storage-wise, but small enough where you can get something small to keep it all in. In here, all range staples, uh, stapler staples, pasties, target stakes, um, Allen keys for the target stands, little shit like that. Uh, I'll probably end up putting this in our Pelican box that we use for targets and shit. Um, but for now, it's in here. Second bag pull DACA takeout pouch. All my magazines. 17 mags. Some just beat up old GI style mags. I actually just got some new mags to cycle these ones out because they are so old, so beat, and so inefficient that two of the four that I keep in here for training purposes are failure to lock back upon last bolt or uh, last round. So that's a problem. I looked at it as a sign. It's time to invest in some new mags. Is what it is. So after that, it's kind of just like, you know, pretty standard type stuff. I have a set of brownout steering protection, which as you guys know, um, through my photography page, I do the Bureau of Propaganda stuff for brownells. I will say completely unbiased, unsolicited. This has to be one of the best pairs of just basic electronic ear pro I've ever used. They've been through snowstorms, rainstorms, windstorms, super cold, super hot. Like these things are absolute tanks. I think they're rebranded walkers. I'm not sure though, but I'm going to be picking up a few more pairs to have in our training box for students. Um, sometimes people forget ear pro and I always keep like a, some basic non-electronic ear pro with me for people, but why not? If, uh, why not keep some nice, some nice sets on hand if I can, right? Eye Pro, I either use Magpul sunglasses or Clear Eye Pro. I believe these are my Clear Eye Pro. Um, my sunglasses I use for literally everything. So I don't really get bent out of shape over brand names when it comes to Eye Pro. Just make sure they're reputable. Um, Smith, Magpul, Oakley. Sure, there's a lot of others out there, but it, you don't want to protect your ears and your eyes. Don't skimp on that stuff, guys. Uh, packing shot timer. I actually put a little bit of hook and loop here so that at once upon a time I could just stick it there and it would be good to go. Um, moving the box around and like throwing it in and out of a truck, this will just fall off. So now I just kind of wedge it in here someplace. Training blue gun, great for teaching people grip, you know, so that uh, they don't have a fear of accidentally discharging a firearm, which is if you've been around a gun a while, you know it's kind of irrational. But, you know, it makes new shooters feel better to be able to practice on this and demonstrate with this. Also, great training tool, right? I don't have to worry about flagging anybody with a solid piece of uh, plastic. So, nothing wrong with that. Um, Glock Packable Rain Jacket. I've used this, like, once, but that was enough times for me to believe in carrying this with me at all times. Range Notebook. I use this for keeping track of if I go to classes, taking notes from the instructors so that I can review the information later, uh, lesson plans, curriculum ideas, course ideas. I use this a weird amount. So I'll usually like, per, the, most of the time when I get into my Pel my Pelican at home, it's to grab this so that I can review something or start taking notes or whatever. Uh, I usually keep my current range belt set up in here. This one is my SHTF range belt set up been using this. I'm a, becoming a very, I used to not be a fan at all, but I'm becoming a big fan of the padded, just quick attach belt system. Especially if you're running a thigh strap, I found it to work pretty well actually. So shout out to Alan from SHTF. He is one of our affiliates. If you come to a class or attend one of our online courses, we can give you a code to get 10% off for that. I'm pretty sure Alan has a 10% off code going on right now for the holidays though, so check that out. 
This is not something I usually keep in here, but it's here. This is just an extra pistol mag pouch, uh, an HSGI taco, so universal fit. And I have one of the HSGI little clips on the back. I use this to hand out to students if they can't get a mag pouch in time for the class. I at least have one that I can give them to keep on their belt line. Uh, it's come in handy more than a few times, so I'll probably just keep it in here. And then I have a whiteboard. So this side gets beat up pretty good. I leave that exposed to the other stuff. This side's nice and smooth. And uh, I got this and the blue gun actually from Willie from Tampa Firearm Solutions for the first class I ever helped teach. So really appreciate that. I use this all the time. I use the blue gun all the time. And that's pretty much it, guys. That's pretty much everything that's normally in my Pelican box. Obviously, I'll throw, you know, some extra mags, my firearm, my rifle. If I'm traveling out of state, like to Ohio or something like that, I'll put, I'll fit everything in here. But normally, these are the staples. Like, this is everything that's in the Pelican box. So, hopefully, this video was worth watching for you guys. Um, once I have kind of our class Pelican set up, I'll give a video on that, too. But until next time, you guys stay safe, stay trained, stay rad. We'll see ya.